here from Fall Gamers, and this evening we will be doing a quick tutorial and a basic tutorial on mapping the M90 mouse from Corsair. Um, so by now you probably installed the mouse and the drivers, and you got to the point which confuses most people with this mouse, which is mapping buttons, because this software is not the e easiest to navigate and it's not explained very well. So what we'll do is hopefully get you through this. So, we won't be doing macros in this video or anything too advanced, we're just going to be doing basic button management and profile management. So, we're going to, for this video, create a nice new profile, fresh slate as it were, and we will rename it. Uh, let's just say, oh, Yolchulb, like so. So there you go, that's our new profile made. You can see I've got notifications on the screen as you just saw it popped up down there saying Yolchulb as our new profile. So currently, this profile is only on the computer, not yet assigned to the mouse, but I am using hardware playback. So anything I map is going to get straight away used on the mouse, even though it's not saved to the mouse. So you can see that by these are all saved currently to the mouse, by the highlight blue and Yolchulb isn't. But I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So we go over to assign buttons. Our current profile we're mapping is Yolchulb. So I'll quickly run through some of the default buttons that I don't change for daily use or daily every like games. Um, I keep five and six as the DPI up and down, and ten and eleven as profile up and down. That's profiles for the mouse, um, which uses the LEDs by your thumb to indicate what profile is currently active and I don't change 14 as that's the sniper button which slows your DPI right down so I mainly use it, I reprogram all the buttons surrounding and I use 15 as like the main trigger as it were or main button so if we'll map that first let's just say for a oh, new game we're playing Max Payne I want to we'll play multiplayer. I want to use um, 15 for um, melee. So we go to MR, which is memory record. Select 15, and quite simply, um, V on the keyboard, which is melee in the game, and then MR again. And as you can see, it has started to make a macro or a single profile for this button. So we've got V is now set to 15. Quite simple. Um, let's switch it up. Let's say you're now playing an MMO based game. Um, something like World of Warcraft, for instance, or Star Wars. So you we want to use, say, 7 for one of your hotkeys, um, which um, is like 1 through 9, for instance. So we're going to memory record. Click number seven, and that will be number one. And quite simply, that's done. Push MR, and we're out of that. So that is now signed. Num key set button seven is now number one on the keyboard. And let's just do eight for the sake of it. So we can select eight. Well, we don't even need to select eight first, but we're going to do eight. So you can see there's nothing currently assigned to eight apart from back which is the default so we go memory record select 8 and that will be number 2 on our keyboard and there you go memory record and that's done so now we can go over all the buttons you can see they've come blue where they've been assigned to something different They're sort of a turquoise color so those are the buttons we've mapped so now just say we've mapped every button how we want it we now have those set and we're currently running them on the mouse because hardware playback is enabled but we want to save them to the mouse so we can swap hot swap between our profiles so we go over to our profile manager and double click on it on the LED or the bar area here and we're going to set um, YolTube to uh, profile number 4 so we just select it and that's there then we just go save to the M90 Take a couple of seconds to save that for us. 
There we go. It's all saved. So now, using the up and down keys on my mouse, I've got my profile set to. I can s quickly swap for each one of my profiles. Nice and simple. So, this is a basic tutorial. We haven't gone into any of the advanced features on this mouse, like um, macros, which is pretty much very similar to what I've done, but a little bit more okay, in depth. And girls. I hope that you found this quick tutorial on how to map buttons for the M90 mouse useful because when I first got the mouse I couldn't find a video anywhere and I had to pretty much self get self-taught um, with the help of Deity, one of the other gamers I play with um, because he has the same mouse and he struggled as well setting it up. So um, yeah hopefully like this button so don't forget to favorite and like and if you want to, me to do a more in-depth video on how to make macros um, for this mouse then just uh, leave us a message and I'll be more than happy to do that so for now enjoy playing those games and I'll see you later